Introduction to Universal Grammar. Now we are looking into the theory of universal grammar given by Chomsky. So, Chomsky has taken a cognitive approach to the study of grammar. So that's why he's called mentalist. His approach is mentalist. So the main goal of Chomsky is, as well as the other linguist is, to determine what it is that enables the native speaker to uh, know about their language and which enables them this knowledge enables them to speak and understand the language so how do they know their language and what it is that enables them to use their language so these are some of the questions that chomsky has put up and how the linguistic knowledge might be represented in the brain so this is the second part of the question how this linguistic knowledge knowledge of languages presented and put into the brain so in studying language linguists are studying a specific kind of cognitive system cognition specific kind of cognitions that is cognitive knowledge or human knowledge that is there in our minds so for example i don't like a syntax if you uh gives sentence to a native speaker i like syntax and ask him or her to make a negative of it the answer will be i don't like syntax right it will not be i know like syntax because inherently with the help of his tacit knowledge the native speaker comes up with a correct negative of the sentence so native speakers know she loves me more than you so taking this sentence any na native speaker can draw two meanings of the sentence they know that there is ambiguity in this sentence a uh, one meaning can be she loves me more than she loves you or either she loves me more than you love me so native speaker has inherent tacit knowledge of his her language so how does he uh, he gets this knowledge right so these are some of the question that chomsky wants to answer with the help of this universal grammar and these were some of the question they which have always been before the linguists so native speaker also know how to interpret expression in their language so how they can explain different language they listens to different expressions sometimes they listen to the expressions words which they have never heard but they do understand so uh, this was a puzzle for the linguist so they try to answer this so grammatical knowledge of how to form and interpret expression in your native language is tacit right subconscious knowledge rather than explicit conscious knowledge so first of all the knowledge of language is tacit subconscious we use language without any without making any conscious effort chomsky we can say chomsky say we can say that native speaker have grammatical competence in their native language tacit knowledge of the grammar of their language so grammatical comp uh, competence is tacit subconscious knowledge knowledge of the uh, grammar of the native speakers of how to form and interpret words how to form words interpret words phrases clauses sentences etc in their language and performance what people actually say or understand by what someone else say on a uh, on a given occasion and so far as performance is concerned performance is the externalization of the competence of the uh, the grammar of the uh, uh, language so uh, what we do is performance what we speak is performance however there is a difference between competence and uh, performance so competence we can define is the speaker hears knowledge of his language a grammar of a language tells you what is needed to know in order to have native like competence in a language to be able to speak the language like a fluent native speaker grammar is concerned with competence rather than performance right because grammar wants to have 
correct and well formed language performance is actual use of language in concrete situation what we uh, do in conversation in in other communication events so very often it's an imperfect reflection of competence so even native speakers performance is imperfect right misproduction and misinterpretation are performance error attributed to a variety of performance factors like tiredness like slip of tongue boredom etc performance is more properly studied with different uh, though related discipline of psycholinguistic that they psych linguist wants to understand that what it is that makes people to make mistake when they use their own language so it's a studied in the psychological processes the study of grammatical competence of a native speaker is the study of cognitive system internal internalized within his or her brain uh, and which is the product of a cognitive organ so we have a cognitive organ which is shared among human beings and crucial respect in uh, in uh, in crucial respects in unique to them so this is not found in other than human being in the terminology adopted by chomsky our ultimate goal in studying competence is to characterize the nature of internalized linguistic knowledge or linguistic system that is internal language or uh, i language what chomsky says uh, is a grammar of a language is a theory of the internal internalized language under investigation so chomsky wants to uh discuss internalized language uh, that we have in our brain attempting to uncover the internalized linguistic system uh, possessed by native uh, speakers of english or any other language so the basic purpose is to study these system the this internalized system chomsky's uh, ultimate goal is to devise a theory of universal grammar so by studying this internalized system chomsky wa wants to give a system that can suitably and in a very befitting manner explain what it is that all people uh, ha share and use so he wants to look at the grammatical knowledge of all the people of the world the theory of human eye languages that identifies eye languages that are humanly accessible under normal condition humanly accessible mean that human human beings can speak they use language so this is accessible language so in other word ug is a theory about the nature of possible grammars of human languages hence a theory of universal grammar answers the question we started with the question so what are the defining characteristics of the grammar of human ai languages so we got to look at the defining characteristics of human ai language internal internalized language languages which are in their brain 